how many procrastinators do we have in the room? Could you raise your hand if you are somebody that would get an A plus in, if the class was procrastination? Yes. You're a horrible person. <laughs> you are a terrible, lazy, no good person if you procrastinate. Okay, that's not true at all. <laughs> do you know what the number one cause of procrastination? Being human. <laughs> do you know there's a physics law that absolutely mandates procrastination? You can't defy physics. The law of inertia says what? A body at rest tends to? Yeah. You know that well. <laughs> if you're sitting there, and you got some homework over there, and you're sitting there, and there's Big Bang Theory reruns on. <laughs> oh, yeah. On TBS, because it's a block of them, right? It's like four in a row. And if I, I swear, Family Guy, whatever. Seinfeld, I liked it in the old days. Big Bang Theory's on. I'm out for two hours. I'm like, I'm on. <laughs> Never mind that I've got a TiVo that could record it. Shut up. <laughs> it's on right here. I'll do stuff at the commercial. <laughs> a body at rest tends to stay at rest. That's the law of inertia. But you and I both know that the other half of that law is a body in motion tends to stay in motion. So you procrastinate because you're human and you're subject to the law of physics. What we can do is help you stop trying to get it done because the, the, the law of inertia actually, you will, you will resist movement if the it you're trying to get done is a task that is unpleasant. If it's a big task, if it takes more than one sitting to do it, forget it. You're starting it tomorrow, <laughs> right? The bigger the task, the more you, and something unpleasant. How many of you can put off some little five minute task for weeks or months? Oh, yeah. I was telling the last group about these back exercises I do. I tweaked my back several years ago, um, and it took two years to find a physical therapist that said, you need to do this, <laughs> and he fixed it. And then he said, do these exercises every day. And, and your, your back might still get tweaked, but much less often. And if I do five minutes of exercises, literally five minutes, I have to do 45 seconds of this, 45 seconds of this, 45 seconds of this, 45 seconds of this. And then I do this for 30, this for 30, this for 30, this for 30. And I've never demonstrated that to a group before. I don't know why I went all the way. I don't know. But that's all it is. But I can put that off because, all, and, and there's a specific time in the schedule that it works. When I'm air drying myself after a shower, when my dog would love some floor time with me, so I grab his little toy, I grab my iPhone with the timer so I can time my 45 seconds and 30 seconds, and I throw the ball and he goes and plays and he's happy as a clam, I'm air drying, you talk about multitasking, <laughs> right? If I don't do it then and I already get dressed and I'm already on to my next thing, those exercises are not gonna get done because I'm too busy. For a five minute task, I am too busy because I'm gonna procrastinate the crap out of it. This is what you and I have to do. We need to give up trying to get it done. And ironically, that gets it easier to move us to get it started. And this is what we need to figure out how to do. Um, homework. You have to study for two hours today, OK? Two hours of focus. That sounds awful. So let's do this. Let's set the timer for 10 minutes. And I want to do 10 minutes of, of focused homework. Not getting ready to study. You know how to do that. <laughs> I mean 10 minutes of earphones off, email off, Facebook. <laughs> the book of face goes off. And you focus for 10 minutes. And what happens at the end of 10 minutes? You're actually, it's easier to keep going than it is to stop. Or you stop and take a quick break or a long break, but you've got 10 minutes done. 